Welcome to the FANUC CRX eLearning Training. In this video, you will learn two ways to move the robot. The manual guided teaching operation allows the robot to be moved by hand. The jog operation moves the robot by using the buttons on the tablet. Let's get started. First, let's move the robot by using the manual guided teaching operation. Press the robot operation panel at the bottom right. If the jog panel is active, Press the Manual Guided Teaching tab on the left. The light setting allows users to operate the robot with light force. The heavy setting is used for fine-tuning the robot position. In order to manually guide the robot, it is required to have the Enable switch at the middle position the entire time for safety reasons. The Enable switch is located on the back of the Teach Pendant. Push the Enable switch softly to the second position. Pushing the switch too hard will bring the button to the third position and generate an alarm that will prevent moving the robot. This enable switch is also called the dead man or the live man switch. As long as you are pushing the switch at the second position, you will be able to move the robot by hand. The free setting allows the users to move the robot to any position and orientation. The translation setting only allows the user to move the robot in the X, Y, and Z directions, but not change the orientation or angle of the tool. The rotation setting only allows the user to rotate the robot around the tool center point, TCP, keeping the TCP in a fixed location. The TCP is typically located at the end of the gripper. By default, the TCP is located at the center of the faceplate. The TCP setup will be explained in more detail in a later module. Next, you will learn how to move the robot in jog mode with the buttons on the tablet. The Teach Pendant must be enabled in order to jog the robot. If the TP Enable button has a strike through, the TP is disabled. Press the TP Enable button at the top right to enable the Teach Pendant. If an alarm is present, press the Reset key to clear the alarm. Let's move the robot in Cartesian Jog Mode. Press the Jog tab on the Robot Operation Panel to switch from the Manual Guided Teaching Operation to the Jog Operation. If the Cartesian Jog buttons are not displayed, press the Frame drop-down menu and select Cart. When you want to change the speed, touch and slide the Override button. A triad will be displayed on the robot graphic to indicate the direction the robot will move. To jog in the plus X direction, press the position button and slide it towards plus X. The robot will move towards the plus X direction while you touch the button. You can also similarly move the robot in the Y or Z directions. This is called Cartesian jogging. The X direction moves the robot forward and backward. The Y direction moves it right and left, and the Z direction moves it up and down. You can also rotate the robot about the X, Y, and Z directions by pressing and sliding the orientation buttons on the right side. Next, let's move the robot in Joint Jog mode. Press the Frame drop-down menu and select Joint. The Joint Jog panel is displayed and the robot graphic is updated to indicate the positive direction of each joint. Move J1 in the forward, counterclockwise direction. To do this, press and hold the J1 button while sliding it towards plus J1. Joint 1 will rotate in the positive direction. Sliding J1 towards minus J1 will make the robot rotate in the negative direction. This action can be repeated for J2 through J6. Congratulations! You have learned how to move the robot manually and by jogging it. In the next video, you will learn how to create and run programs.